Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday! We made it to Friday, the end of the week, and we've also got more Golasso cards coming today. Icons and Heroes, team number two, which in my opinion, from the leaks, from all the big names that are being talked about, I think team two might be clear of team one. I know that's up for debate and discussion, but I want to look at that and talk about that today as we're going to have new cards in packs, new SBCs, potentially an Icon Evolution, and how's that going to impact the market? Seems like the market's just been tanking for the last month. Is that going to continue today as we get one week closer still to team of the season? There's a lot to discuss in today's video as we head into a promo Friday. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now, let's go back and look at yesterday's Thursday content and go over that really quickly. There's not a whole lot to discuss, but there are a couple interesting things, starting with our player SBC. Guys, we've kind of got a player SBC almost every single day, even though there's no like schedule that we're following, like Ultimate Birthday. They've been keeping it pretty consistent with the player SBCs. That continued yesterday with Callum hudson Adoy, five-star skills, four-star weak foot boost, finesse plus, quick step plus, a very fun looking card. The stats aren't terrible. Of course, a lot of people are quick to point out the 80 reactions and the 80 composure in the dribbling stats of the card, but it does have 99 curve. He's got 94 finishing, 93 attack positioning, and pretty good playstyles, other than his two playstyle pluses, which are very meta. I'd have to say this is a decent looking card. The problem is there's a little bit of Premier League tax that is involved. 215k for this Hudson Adoy. If this card SBC wise was like 150k, then it would maybe be a little bit better. I mean, to be honest, this is one if you're a Forest fan, if you're maybe a Chelsea fan, Hudson Adoy used to be a Chelsea, right? Maybe you're doing this SBC then. Uh, it's just kind of a fun one to do, and it is craftable because it's only three squads. Not a whole lot to talk about there besides the fact that it's maybe just a shade expensive for what it maybe should be. We had marquee matchups yesterday as well on. Thursday, as always expected, and the biggest news really from yesterday is EA did not take very long to put that icon David Beckham SBC back into the game. Of course, on Wednesday, it was released tradable, mistakenly, and they put the SBC back untradable as it was meant to be, but they only did kind of like two-thirds of the work. They put the SBC back, and those who had completed certain segments of it, uh, those were showing as completed so they could finish the rest of the SBC and get their untradable card, but EA did not yet compensate the fodder. So if you had done the score squads of David Beckham. They had not given back the fodder just yet for whatever squads you had done. So that should be coming at some point. So it's nice that they got the SBC back out right away for those of us that want to complete it. That was actually nice to see, but they have not compensated people yet uh, that um, turned fodder into that. So be on the lookout for that. I mean, the coming days. Yeah, we'll see how long that takes. Now, a couple other small things to check out from yesterday. Guys, massive game in the Premier League yesterday, which actually had impact on some fantasy FC cards. Ramirez and Carvalho. Uh, Ramirez went up like 700,000 coins, guys. This card exploded. He was 800, 900,000 coins. He's now 1.5 mil. He's getting a plus two on Wednesday, and so is Carvalho after the win from Chelsea. Crazy game yesterday, right? Cole Palmer, all that. Um, he's getting an upgrade. Guys, sell this card, okay? He's very expensive. He had a crazy price spike. I would sell the card because we have, are what, two, three weeks away from team of the season, and cards are going to be looking like this on the normal. Even though he has an upgrade coming, sell before the upgrade. We always know what with the live cards, what to do is sell in the hype. But I also wanted to point this out because when big games happen, there are cards on the market that aren't even live that will move because of the hype of the player. This will happen during Champions League later on this year for sure, especially as we get down towards the end of the Premier League season. Big players, big moments. They move in price. 1 million coins to Cole Palmer goes up to 1.23. He's already st or still up around there. 1.2 million coins after the game yesterday because people log on to this game after they watch a game like that and they say, I want to use that card. So I'm just telling you, it's not a live card, but Cole Palmer is up and that sort of stuff happens because football is what this game is based around. And when people get excited about the sport for something that they see, a real life game, it impacts the market a bit. So just to point that out, Chelsea fans, non-Chelsea fans alike, it can have some market impact. Now, the last thing I want to discuss today is something kind of crazy that has going, it's going down under the radar late Thursday night here into Friday. EA is giving out 84 plus packs. Now, I did not get any. These packs are from Objectives. 
but maybe you guys are noticing some random 84 plus packs being sent out. Some people have 30 or 50 of these and they have not tweeted or said a thing as far as I can tell from the other EA accounts like EA FC Direct Communication has not tweeted out. They have not re released an official statement on anything from what I've seen yet. But it sounds like a lot of people just randomly got 84 plus packs, singular 84 plus packs untradeable. So I didn't check EA's help Twitter. Let me just double check this really fast. Yeah, it shows nothing in there. So guys, that was a really random one, a really weird one. I don't know what's going on with that. But if you got some 84 plus packs, I guess W, you have some for today for Team 2 Golasso, or you could open them for Team 1, which is still in packs right now. So that is kind of the situation of what happened yesterday on Ultimate Team. But we're all here for today, right? We're here for Golazo team number two. And it actually kind of started yesterday with the loading screen. And I want to go through this and quickly go through a lot of the leaks because we had many leaks added to the list of names of players that we're expecting to see today. And that's why I'm saying, guys, team two, in my opinion, there's some heavy hitters in here. Especially from this loading screen, guys. We have Viali. Here's one of the new leaked hero cards that's coming today. 92 pace, 94 shooting. Not a crazy amount of hype for that card but it could be decent it's the icons that look crazy jarzinho 96 pace and 91 passing for this jarzinho card over here on the right that is a plus four pace and plus five passing boost from his most recent special card which was from centurions but that's a big boost for jarzinho that card's going to be expensive and crazy and pushkas as well 98 shooting and 95 dribbling on pushkas very solid upgrade if he gets maybe five star either weak foot or skills or maybe they make him crazy and five star five star today that might be your kind of like Cruyff of this promo with very very expensive uh a very very expensive price on the market now let's scroll through some of the other leaks again jarzinho that's how we know that player in the loading screen isn't garincha it is jarzinho he was leaked before him we still have roberto carlos who is coming today we've talked about that desai really excited for this card today We've been waiting for him to get a special card. He's finally getting one. Lineker is getting a card today as well. Uh, this is just, again, the guys that are named off here as icons. Um, insane. Kaka, big name icon card coming today. Give him Finesse Plus EA. I can't wait to try this card out for the memes, right? Pushkas, of course, we talked about him from the loading screen. A new leak from yesterday. DDA Drugba. Drugba is getting another card. Maybe Ariel Plus. Hopefully it's not aerial and power header. I would be super fine if it's like aerial and like, I don't know, power shot. I think power shot would be nice for Drogba too. He's just kind of, I don't know, just he has his own aura in game, people say. I have not used Drogba this year, but people say that he is pretty good. This is going to be a nice, nice card for him. And Essien getting a card too. Guys, I mean, there are some big name icons, very meta popular icons that are getting in Skolasso team number two. And we're only looking at the icon leaks at the moment right now. I do believe there's a couple more like Vidic who we've covered in yesterday's video and also Lampard as well in terms of the icon leaks. And there's one more big icon that's leaked as an SBC. But then going back through and taking a look at some of the heroes, we did have a couple new hero leaks, including Robbie Keane. He's coming as a big bro, little bro version. He's going to be pretty cheap. This is like kind of the Berbatov, I think, of last week. I bet this um, 91 or 92 rated Robbie Keane card is probably going to be 100, 200K. And the little bro is going to be basically discard value. He'll be cheap. So watch out for that. But that could be a very nice card because Robbie Keane usually is pretty meta, especially if they give him finesse plus. We're also getting a Harry Cool. I don't know if he's had a special version this year. I remember using his uh, Marvel version for the World Cup heroes that were released last year in FIBA 23. His card is getting a little bro and a big bro version as well. That could be a very, very nice one for Cool. So he is a brand new leak that is coming out soon. And there's a few more. Of course, we mentioned Viali. He's on the loading screen. He's going to have 92 pace, 94 shooting. If that dynamic is actually on his card, that would be so cold. And then Cordoba, we've been asking. No Dean Natale, unfortunately, but we are getting Cordoba today as a Golasso hero card. And I think I'm missing a couple more. Rosicky, we've talked about and mentioned. Oh, yeah. Park G Sung is coming as a hero as well in this promo. So, guys, again, you look at the leaked players, the leaked promo cards for the icons and the heroes. There are a lot of icons and there are some heroes, but it feels like there are less of them but man the icons and the big name icons comparatively to those that were in team number one guys i think that team two is going to be clear of team one that's just the way 
than I look at it right now as I look through these names and these players that are going to be coming out today. Now, the real question is going to be, and a lot of you guys might be already thinking this, Nate, is it really going to be better? Because what if they just turn down the pack weight? And that's a very, that's a very real question to ask. But I mean, when I was thinking back earlier today, we were talking about this on the live stream on Twitch. Um, it, it doesn't really feel like from a team one to a team two this year, I can't remember a time where the pack weight has drastically changed where team one was super packable and crazy. And then the second week was like the complete opposite. I think it's going to be pretty comparable today, guys. Now I will put one caveat out there. I do think that there with more icons being in packs, there could potentially be a little bit less of a seemingly uh, of a packability of the cards, it might seem like you have a less chance to pack them or you're seeing them less in packs because if there's more icons in packs than heroes, right? The heroes in this past week have definitely seemed more packable, especially the little bro heroes, right? I've packed Berbatov plenty of times. I packed Francesco yesterday and trying him out and all that sort of stuff. So I think that that might be one thing where we notice a difference in this next week of the game. But, I mean, guys, I do think that like we saw last Friday, the new cards that come out are going to be very heavily supplied on the market through the lightning rounds and the store packs that EA dropped today just because these cards, comparatively to normal heroes and icons, have a very, very high pack weight, and I think that's going to continue. They might be a little more expensive today as the team is throughout just because they're just better cards. Like instead of a 500k Jabi Alonso, you're looking at maybe a Kaka card today who's over a million coins or probably over a million coins. Even with Essien, like I would say Essien over Jabi Alonso is very likely in terms of people wanting to use him over Jabi Alonso. I know the new cards always bring the hype and also the meta players in game bring the hype. And, and you know, Essien is very meta. A lot of people use his team of the year card. Always look forward to using him. Drogba, same thing. Kaká, of course, as well. Roberto Carlos. Again, that's why I'm feeling this Team 2 is going to be t clear of Team 1. But it might lead to a few cards being a little bit more expensive today. So I don't think the pack weight's going to change that much. I think you're just going to have more of the, what you would say, expensive cards in the game today. Which might make it seem like they are less packable. Just there's more expensive versions out instead of some of the cheaper ones. Which I'm fine with. And I'm going to save a couple of packs with because if I hit something today, I guess that would make me think that I have a better chance... Of hitting something good. Now we'll talk about the pact, the impact of that pack weight potentially on team one here in a second, but let's talk about SBCs because you maybe have noticed there's one leak that we've skipped over talking about one big player who was originally leaked to be a card that might be in packs, which actually still could happen, but he's also going to be an SBC, and that is King Eric Cantona. He is coming as an SBC, and of course, this is raising the question in our minds. Is it going to be like the Alawayrin last Friday where he got the SBC and a better version was in packs? I think that seems possible. I don't know if that's been confirmed anywhere. Maybe I've missed it. Um, I mean, based off of how they did it last week, maybe that's how it plays out today. But regardless, a King Canton SBC. I don't know, man. This guy in this game, I haven't used him too much more than a couple of games. I used his base icon. And the five-star skills are like one of the best things about Canton's card. Some of you guys have maybe packed the Thunderstruck from an icon player pick. I've only used the base version. He has Flare playstyle plus on that card. I think that's worthless. I've mentioned that. Technical plus on this Cantona I think is very interesting. Again, he has earned the nickname Jamtona in game because he's very jammy. I used him two years ago uh, when he had a crazy Icon Moments SBC that was out during Team of the Season, and that card was incredible. Uh, this this could be a very, very good SBC today, guys. Two playstyle pluses for sure for Cantona. And if you go like a plus two over this Thunderstruck card, you're looking at stats in every single category except for defending above 90, 90 or above, right? Maybe they give him 89 passing. But like a card like this as an SBC, that could go crazy. So he could be very, very meta and very, very hyped. He also could be a little bit expensive if they're going to do, even if they do two different versions, he could be a bit pricey. So I'm a little interested in watching fodder prices today i think some of the 90 and 91s have already started to just inch up in price a little bit yeah kdb was 35,000 coins now he's 37 and 90s i think were as low as 25k now they're about 27k even 89s were 20 they're now 21,000 coins after division rivals rewards yesterday 
really destroyed fodder just to talk about that for a quick second um wow look at this ruben diaz was twenty four thousand coins before rivals all the way down to 20k and it is back up a little bit as the supply has been ending but that was crazy to see yesterday as well it's becoming a real new normal on thursdays is that the everything impacts even the cards the golasso team yesterday bobby charlton dropped a bunch cafu dropped a bunch most of the cards ginola is now three million coins dropped off a lot yesterday with division rivals rewards but i think if you're going to invest in anything for cantona sbc today you probably want to buy 90s or 91s and sell them a couple hours after content i mean maybe we can even go back on de bruyne's graph and look to last week on friday let's see friday right here when content dropped on friday he was 43,000 coins he went all the way up to 47k and was only there for a few more hours and then got destroyed uh on sunday with maybe squad battle rewards and and weekend league rewards and less SBC demand really dropping him in price right over those last couple of days last weekend. So if there's going to be a rise in fodder, I think it rises today and that's when you need to sell it. That's just something to talk about if you're going to invest for Eric Cantona and that SBC today. Speaking of SBCs, there's maybe the chance of something else. The 83 plus team will be player picks going to get refreshed. I think the 88 plus um, the gamble icon, the campaign one, not the icon, sorry, the, not the icon, but the 88 plus campaign is going to refresh today as well. And I think even the 85 plus player pick is going away, but the 83 times 10 refreshes. Yeah, the 85 pick goes away. Maybe that comes back. 83 times 10 does refresh for one more day. We'll be able to do it one more time. But that Cantona is going to be one of the biggest things in SBCs. Let's talk about objectives. I just finished the Robin Van Persie objective for the XP. I would imagine that there is going to be another um, Golazo objective player. Maybe it's for a hero this time. We'll have to see. I would definitely think that's coming today. So watch out for that. The cup, maybe you guys maybe didn't notice this. I kind of forgot. The cup is still available. So most of you guys maybe have finished it already or you're pretty far into it. Um, I only have to win three more games and get one more finesse shot and my cup run is done. Those packs would actually be very nice to open today for the new team. So I might try to get that done. But there's probably not a new cup coming today because there's one that is still going to be there. So we'll have to see how much hype there is with that. Now, one thing I do want to mention is, guys, I actually think there's a real possibility today of us getting a icon evolution. Of course, we had the hero one, right? It was the Heroic Chronicles. I put Clint Dempsey into this Evo. A lot of you guys maybe did Marquez. Maybe you did Colair. Maybe you did Berbatov. This Evo, you have to decide who you want to put in it by today at Content Drop. So don't forget about that. If you're going to put somebody into this evolution, make sure you go ahead and do that. But I think last week when they gave us that 85 plus pack and they kind of had that little promo screen that showed like what was happening during the promo, I think it actually mentioned, I really didn't read the fine print on that image real well, but I'm pretty sure that it mentioned that there was a icon evolution. Now there's no leaks right now for an icon Evo, but it kind of makes sense, right? Last week we had a hero, Alawayrin, uh, and we had a lot more heroes in packs. This week, they're going more icon heavy. If we're going to have a Cantona SBC, then maybe we are going to get an icon evolution today. Now, I will say icon evos this year have been terrible. I don't know if there's been one good icon evo, except for if you've maybe already had one in your club and then you put it into the evo to get a small boost. So we'll have to see what this type of icon evo is if it drops today. Watch for leaks. Foot Police on Twitter tweets out a lot of those evolution leaks. So I will say watch for that. And if there's prices moving on the market um, and there's a lot of icons that are flying, it will make sense, right? Because that'll be like, oh, wow, this guy must be fitting one of the Evos that is coming out because his price is going up a bunch. So that's one thing to point out and one thing to pay attention to today in this game. That could be good, but I'm not putting my expectations too high for that. So that's kind of the content that we're looking forward to today. An Icon Evo, the Cantona SBC, probably the same big store packs. I don't imagine that the 650K pack is going to be out today. I, what day did that drop last week? I think that was on Saturday, but maybe it wasn't. Yeah, it goes away. You can see the Supreme Golazo pack is going away, as is basically the whole entire store. Yeah, all of it expires at content time today. So there will be new packs added in, uh, but probably some of the same ones that we just saw this last week during team number one. And to be honest, a 650K pack with better icons and packs, I would be more tempted to open this one this week with team two potentially than team one so we'll be watching out for that seeing when that drops there's going to be hype for that for sure because of how uh juiced that pack was even the 330k pack that they dropped um last week on friday which i ended up opening if that comes out today that could be an sb or that could be a store pack 
to be watching out for too. Now let's talk about the market with all this going on. What is going to happen to the market? The market is still in like a general state of decline. It's still a good place to trade though, guys. I bought a Declan Rice at 1.13. He's now up over 1.23. He's up 100K. I picked up some Salahs. This was my big move yesterday. I bought three Salahs for 740 to 750K. He usually sells in the mid to high 800s. There are a couple of other people here trying to sell at 825. So I'm waiting for those to sell maybe today with some weekend league demand as people get up and play some champs. Hopefully Salah can go up a little bit more um, and I'll be able to sell for some nice profits there. I'm still flipping and prices are still moving and there's still a lot of demand. But guys, like from prices that I'm flipping at now compared to where I was trading with cards at the beginning of last weekend, like I'm pretty sure last Saturday I sold this Bukayo Saka for 1.8 million coins and the bro is 1.1 mil. I think that with all the icons and heroes that are coming out today, even I'm still worried for the market. I, again, I would not be holding on to too much. If you want to try a tradable card, I would say don't hold on to it for too long. Yeah. Use the card you want to use Buy the player that you want to play with, use them in champs or whatever. But I probably would not be holding on to that player for a super long time just because we are getting more and more great cards today. And if they have a similar pack weight, even if they're better players and are a bit more expensive, if they're supplied on the market like Team 1 of Golazo was, then I think that the rest of the market could once again take a hit. And even some of these cards from Team 1, a lot of people have been asking me, Nate, I really want Cafu for my team. I really want Ginola or Ashley Cole or Alawayer or Charlton. Do I need to buy them today? And in my honest opinion... I don't think you do. Unless you want them for this weekend league and those games, then sure, go ahead and buy the card. I don't see most of this team, though, having a rise out of packs. If I had to pick a favorite for a card that could rise out of packs, I would say Cafu, Colaire, maybe Ashley Cole, and maybe Charlton. But guys, again, when I look at the market and I see the supply for these, it's just like, wow, there's so many of them. And when you think about that happening again today with new cards, new Golazo items, icons, and heroes... I don't think there's going to be really that big of a rise on the market, but I want to shout that out. And I wanted to mention that because there's a slight chance that some of those cards could rebound a bit today on the market, but I'm going to be sticking to maybe birthday cards, um, road to the finals, anything, man. You see on this transfer list, like anything, fantasy FC cards are insane to trade with old informs, um, low budget, high budget. I'm trading with cards in here that are 200,000 coins. I'm trading with cards in here that are close to two mil, like with Varon. So Everything on the market right now is, is still moving, and it's a good time to trade if you want to put the work in, if you want to put the time in. Um, but you just kind of have to, it's all about the timing, right? And just know that on Fridays, the market does okay for a couple hours, but once we get into Saturday, usually it has been tanking like crazy. How much is Declan right now? Is my Declan the cheapest on the market? Ooh, it's close. 1.2447. Wait, is mine the cheapest? I think I listed, right? I wonder. 1.25, I think. I'll have to double check that. But if we get the sale here pretty soon, we will know why. But the market still remains a good place to trade if you do want to put the work in. Just have to be careful timing your buys and sells because stuff can drop at a moment's notice. And with a King Cantona SBC potentially today, maybe a hero, or sorry, a Icon Evo, things could get really interesting today on this game as well. So hopefully they juice up the rest of the team like we see on the loading screen. Looks like pretty good juices for those cards. And hopefully they spice something up today too, whether it's the Evo, maybe an SBC we weren't expecting. Spice something up today, yeah. But let's have a great Friday, guys. Thanks for watching the video today. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. Catch you guys there, man. It's been Nathan for the Catch you guys there. Peace.